Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd president. Hi everyone, I'm John Lauder, I teach at Godwin High School, and I'm here to talk to you about Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd president of the United States. He's not the best known president, in fact, he's one of the more obscure presidents. You might know him as the grandson of William Henry Harrison, who's really only famous for dying. Uh, you might know him as the meat in the middle of a Grover Cleveland sandwich. But there's some other fun facts. For example, he was the last president to have a full beard. He was the second shortest president at just 5'6". In fact, Democrats used to call him Little Ben to kind of disparage him on the campaign trail. He was the first president to have electricity in the White House and the first president to put up a Christmas tree. Um, so there's your trivia on him. As uh, president, um, he campaigned in 1888. He defeated Grover Cleveland. Um, he actually lost the popular vote by about 90,000 votes, but he won the Electoral College. Uh, when he was president, he's going to expand uh, benefits um, or pensions for veterans of the Civil War um, to include family members for the first time. He's also going to sign the McKinley Tariff, um, which is going to raise a lot of money but have some economic side effects. Uh, the Sherman Silver Purchase Act, um, which is going to have some similar problems um, in terms of economic side effects. And so economically, he's kind of considered a failure. In fact, a lot of his policies are seen as leading to the Panic of 1893, which actually happened when Grover Cleveland was president. So. Harrison is not typically super well regarded by historians um, in terms of those uh, that domestic output. But he does kind of lay the stage for future presidents. Uh, for example, he uses some of that billion dollar budget that he has from those tariffs to increase the size of the United States Navy, um, which is going to help President McKinley and President Roosevelt later on kind of establish the United States as a world power. Harrison also makes more territories U.S. states than any other president. North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho, Washington, Montana, and Wyoming all become states under President Harrison, um, which is a lot of land with not a lot of people. Uh, he makes American Samoa a territory of the United States. He tries to annex Hawaii, although Congress kind of blocks it. He is not the most charismatic guy. In fact, his own staff calls him the human iceberg because he sort of has difficulty relating to people. But he was considered a man of integrity. In a modern moral lens, he um, holds up pretty well. He spoke out against the Chinese Exclusion Act in 1882, which actually happened before he was president. He also went to Congress repeatedly to try to get protection for African-American voters in the South, kind of end those Jim Crow laws. He wasn't able to get that through the Senate um, either. So as a whole, I guess his legacy is kind of uh, economically not great. Um, but if you're into the United States as an imperial power, he helps kind of pave the way for that with that naval expansion um, and the adding of, of territories. All right, hope you learned something. Bye.